So we're now looking at what we need to carry in the winter and how we're going to pack the bag. So we've got here a 35 to 45 litre rucksack, around the, the right sort of size that we need. Anything smaller and it's, we're not going to be able to get stuff in, much bigger and you'll probably find you're carrying too much. Inside the bag we've got a waterproof stuff sack so we'll be able to keep what we're about to put in nice and dry. We've got an emergency shelter here. This is you know, a really good bit of kit to carry. We'll be able to sort of get out of the environment, get everybody into it. There's different sizes, you know, two person right the way up to 12 person, depending on the group size that you're with. And we can put that inside the dry bag at the bottom, we'll be able to get to that. We then got some spare clothing and hats and gloves. So in here, a nice warm jacket that we'll be able to put on if we're getting chilly, stopping or you're getting pretty cold. We've got a pair of mitts and a spare hat as well. They kept in a stuff sack. Again, if it was wet or we want to identify them easily in a rucksack, we can keep them in that, clip it up and put that in the bottom of the rucksack. First aid kit, again, kept in a stuff sack so we'll be able to keep that nice and dry. We've got some crampons, which we'll talk about in a moment, and some spare and emergency equipment here. So a head torch, We've got a little bit of duct tape, spare compass in case the one we're using gets broken. These are used for, for measuring distances and navigation, pacing. We've got a knife and all of that's going to be kept in here. Again, keeping things in these little bags means it's nice and easy to identify items of clothing and equipment that we need. I may or need to get that during the day, so it's probably a good idea to put that in here. In the top of my rucksack, I've got a pair of goggles. Okay, these are, we may need to wear these if the weather was pretty poor. You know, without a pair of goggles in really poor weather, then essentially we're not gonna be able to see, we're not gonna be able to navigate at all. Okay, so they live in the bag and in the top of the rucksack. I'm probably gonna be wearing these, a pair of gloves. You can't have too, too many gloves, so maybe even a thin pair of gloves is a good idea food okay for the day and that can live inside a helmet okay and that will stop the sandwiches and stuff being squashed so a little bit of an extra little trick there the helmet is something you've got to make a decision on you know if you are maybe wearing a pair of crampons and you're sort of new to sort of moving on sort of broken terrain with crampons and a helmet is a bit of a bonus and you know you're looking after your head we have a flask that's full of a hot drink um, really important, we don't want, we need to hide, keep hydrated, but we also need to have a, a good warm drink and just some water. They're fairly close to the top of the bag and I can get hold of those. Crampons, so these are in here in a, in a bag, which will protect other items of clothing that I've got in my rucksack. Uh, I'm going to keep these fairly close to the top because I'm likely to need these during the day. Other items, we've got a shovel, you know, just really to, you know, dig into the snow and a little bit of protection. So if it was finding the weather was particularly bad and wanted to get out of it or dig a, into a wind scoop in the snow, I might find that would be a really simple way of doing so. You know, probably not essential all the time, but a, you know, a good bit of kit. I'm going to put that carefully into the front of the bag and the handle, which is which obviously gets clipped on when you need it, is down the side. That leaves a, well, I've got two maps here, one of which I'm going to use, the other one is a spare. So the spare I'm going to put down the side. And really important that we have a spare map, losing the one I'm navigating on could be disastrous. The one I'm using, it's fairly small, it's to the area that I know I'm going into, it's laminated, and I'm going to keep that in my pocket and a good idea not to have a map case especially around your neck definitely not a good idea in winter when it's really windy the compass I want I don't want to lose so I'm gonna push this and thread this onto my the zip pull on my pocket here 
Okay, can't lose it, but I can still use it easily. And push that away. And then put the helmet on the top. Okay. Make sure everything's done up securely inside. And jobs are good. And the axe, I can just store on the side of my rucksack, like so.